In Africa, many families depend on the open water to live. It's part of their daily life. As a result, drowning is common. It claims thousands of lives every year. Many are children who simply cannot swim. All it takes is for a child to go out of their depth, to be caught in a flood or a storm, and they can do nothing to save themselves. The RNLI has worked with and learned from other organizations to develop the Aquatic Survival Program. It teaches children to be safe around the water, to swim, and to survive. It's about sharing knowledge that will save lives. A small investment, a small intervention, a very big impact. Makami Simba is one of many who are determined to share that knowledge. Inungwi, Zanzibar, na mimi ndo nyumbani hapa. Tunaitaji maji kwa kuishi na maji ya natutoa roho sana. Tunakufa sana. Mimi ni mvuvi ambaye navua kwenye kijiji ya pichi chetu cha Nungwi. Uh, na vile vile ni mjumbe wa Panje Project uh, ambao ni mradi wa hapa kijijini umeshirikiana na RNLI. Uh, kwa hiyo tumefurahi sote kwa ajili ya kupatiwa mafunzo ya uokozi. Hivi maji mnatumia kwa shughuli gani maji? Maji tunatumia kwa kufulia kuogea kunywa kupekia kuoshea vyombo asante mnajua kuogelea nyote kuogelea hatujui amjui kwa nini amjui kuogelea kwa tu hatujafundishwa hatujafundishwa eh mnapenda kufundishwa mnataka the rnli is training local organizations to teach the course it's all about skills and knowledge that show children how to keep safe in and near the water and how they can help to keep others safe. The Aquatic Survival Program has two stages. Stage one starts in the classroom, educating children in vital water safety. This takes about an hour. It's interactive and fun. The children are taught 10 basic safety messages and then use games, drawing and song to help remember what they've learned. If there's access to safe water in the area, the children have the option to go on to stage two. This involves learning practical swimming and survival skills, which can be taught in a river, pond, pool, or the sea. A child is much less likely to drown if they can swim. It's that simple. They are learning how to swim to safety, stay safe until help arrives, and rescue others. This stage involves 10 sessions and takes around 15 to 20 hours to complete. The course is flexible. It can be taught intensively with a session each day or over a longer period. It includes techniques such as breathing, floating and kicking. Nikija shirika jengine kama hili hapa Afrika basi watoto wengi watafanikiwa kujiokoa kwa mafunzo ya kuogelea. Asante. <laughs> the RNLI wants to work with other organizations to help deliver this program to communities across Africa. With your help we can do it. We can make the water a safer place for everyone.